Now we're going to take a look at the dead weight, dead weight loss diagram that occurs through monopolistic behavior. This attempts to quantify the loss to society that occurs through monopolies operating as opposed to completely competitive markets. We start by drawing the typical axes, x and y axes, that we see in uh, our supply and demand with our price on the uh, up axis and our output on the horizontal axis. Next, we draw our typical downward sloping demand curve, which shows as price declines, the quantity demanded by the public rises. Next, we would put in our marginal revenue curve, which, as we studied before, we know falls away twice the rate at which the demand curve falls at. The beauty, of course, of our demand curve shows that at any given level, price level, we can see the output that would be provided at that point. We can look further and say in a completely competitive market that there would be many, many different suppliers, operate, producers operating at many different levels along that uh, demand curve, but the average price, the equilibrium, would be established at say, P1 and Q1. Now, instead of many different suppliers operating at this stage, let us assume that all of the producers were to come together and form one monopolistic unit. Say, like all the nation's countless milk producers coming together to form a milk marketing board. At this stage, we would no longer have a whole series of different supply curves. Instead, the companies, the, new, the newly formed office, would operate a supply curve that is equivalent to his marginal cost curve, his MC, which we can put in brackets as if operating effectively like the supply curve. Now, in a fully contestable market, we can see here where quantity and price are at supply and demand equilibrium. At this stage, we can see that the producer surplus is marked in this area, while the consumer surplus is marked in at the area above price equilibrium, like that. But, given that we're now dealing with a monopolist, do we assume that he continues to operate where his supply equals demand? No, we don't. Why? Because we know monopolists operate at the famous MC equals MR, where his marginal costs equal his marginal revenues. So he would be operating at this point here, at that price there. Notice then, what's occurred? We're now operating at this new higher price and this reduced output level. Now typically this wouldn't have a negative impact because if you reduce your producer surplus and rise the consumer the, excuse me, if you reduce the consumer surplus and raise the producer surplus, the same total social benefit area would exist. We don't make a distinction between the benefit of society from a producer or a consumer surplus, but that's not the case in a monopolistic situation. Notice here, this is the area that is lost. The blackened area here is the dead weight lost to society. That is the amount to society, the benefit to society, that is lost through reduced output and rising, uh, higher prices caused by monopolists. Thank you.